Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Clip Shots here. Welcome back to another interesting, fun run sort of dealio. Um, I'm kind of doing my own idea, but just today, like just right now, right before I decided to go ahead and do this, um, I was also suggested this in a comment, uh, although they wanted me to do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to give uh, Catastrophe a the credit for this, at least for now. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the most HP possible and uh, by doing that uh, it's basically I'm doing two restorbs and 13 um, mirror orbs so yeah we're also on uh, we're also on crucible 2 so because we're on crucible 2 um, yeah we uh we have some stuff i also went ahead and took some healing stuff ideally i'm gonna run out of orbs and uh or rather i'm not gonna run out of orbs i'm actually just gonna get to the last orb and then that's gonna be basically the end the it the end of it the it <laughs> i don't know what to say um yeah like the end of it pretty much and that's the goal here is basically just get to the last orb every single time um and yeah, if we do that, then hopefully we're all sorts of good and whatnot, and uh, it'll be good. We'll get tons of health, tons of HP. We also can't start with level three orbs. I've tried to explain this multiple times, but the creator of the uh, mod that lets you start with um, upper level orbs, they uh, no longer upkeep their mod because uh, the game basically is like, well, you know, the game, uh, um, what's it called? I'm having the hardest time with words today. The game, um, what the game does is uh, it allows you to have custom starts and because of the custom starts, the uh, mod creator for the, uh, for the other, for the custom starts mod um, that lets you start with leveled up orbs um, stopped creating, stopped creating mo the uh, mod, stopped upkeeping it because there's no reason to it all does the same okay there we go alrighty struggle bus initiated I'm going for going for the question marks first until I get the uh, okay sure I'm going for the question marks first until I get enough question marks that um, I get rid of my stone if I get rid of my stone really quick then we're good if I don't get rid of my stone very quick, there you go. Let it sink. There we go. Okay. So now we're good. Now we can go for fights if we want to. I actually don't know how to get this one the best way possible. Like, see, that that worked, but sometimes it doesn't work, and I don't know what's going on. Now we can go for fights. Um, That's fine as well. Fights of any kind work. And, uh, like, this will work just fine. Even if we don't actually kill anything, oh, I should have done the uh, ring of Re ring of reuse. That's what I should have done as well, but I didn't think about it. My brain didn't think about it. Um, but yeah, so let's see how it goes. Anyways, hope you guys have had a fantastic day. If you guys haven't have haven't gotten a sip of water yet, something to drink. Um, I definitely highly recommend it. Water is good for you, kind of. So so scientists say. <laughs> so scientists say water is good for you. Is that actually the case? I have no idea. But I drink water and I pretend. I imagine we all can do the same. Because you know what they say. We can pretend. Sandblast these walls and paint them again. Yep. Just sandblast the walls and paint them again, guys. All right. Fox Stevenson, you're still mad lad. Love Fox Stevenson. All right. There you go. Now we can actually refresh the board, do all the things. We have two orbs, two like normal orbs. So if we ever, if we ever get the opportunity, um, the biggest thing is going to be <laughs> upgrading those orbs. We'll get one to level three and then we'll hopefully get the other one to level three as well. It's going to be important to get one to level three to start off with and then get the next one to it as quickly as possible. But if we run out of orbs, theoretically, we don't die because we have the round guard and cheese which means infinite reloads and immunity while reloading um, unless they somehow fix that that should still be the case and i don't think the devs fixed it so i'm not really worried about possibly losing in any capacity so yeah i'm just gonna keep chucking these orbs out and we're gonna be here for quite a while guys we're gonna be here for quite a while so let me tell you a little bit about my my day at least so far um today i actually got up really early surprisingly so and because I got up so early, 
Um, I'm ready just to get get the day rolling, you know? I guess we can do that. I don't, I mean, none of this really matters. None of this really matters. Okay, I do want to go for fights because fights give me the opportunity to possibly level up my orb. Um, and yeah, that's really it. That's really just it. We're, now we're just trying to level up our orbs as much as possible. Anyways, that being said, also waking up so er so early, um, there's tons of rain outside. Tons of rain outside. Just raining nonstop, basically. And that's totally fine. I love the rain. I think I've told you guys that about a million times. But um, up towards the mountains near where I live, it actually, I mean, it, like, I don't know if it's because of the clouds. It's probably because the clouds, really. But it looks a little bit, little bit misty, hazy. Um, and it's cold, you know? I know there's no snow, but I would want to say that it, you know, feels like there might be a little bit of snow just because of how, how hazy and whatnot it is. I'm going to go left if I can, if it somehow lets me go left. Ooh. There you go. Because uh, left leads us to another elite fight. And like I said, elite fights don't even matter. Don't even matter, man. None of it really matters. Uh, we'll go here because this is a more guaranteed crit. And that could just equal lots of damage. I know these early fights are, it's like important kind of ish to get these guys taken care of. Um, I'm not really too concerned. Doesn't matter, you know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter much one way or the other. There you go. Oh, oh, I was hoping for another one. Oh, I didn't even, didn't even detonate that bomb. Didn't even detonate it. I'm crying. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how we got it, but we did. Alrighty. And see, this is one of those instances where we could just chuck it down and cause it to uh, cause it to roll over. Oh, 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 gosh. Golly gee, Willikers. Oh, can I? Maybe I can like. Nope. OK, <laughs> I was like, maybe I can just squeeze it in. Oh, oh, we got a refresh. Honestly, I'm surprised. I'm surprised by that refresh. There we go. Yeah, so anyways, it's raining outside. It's really nice. Uh, my dog, he wanted to go outside and he was like, he was like, yeah, I want to go outside. He was super excited. And then he was going to go explore and whatnot, just like, you know, run around a little bit. And then he was like, it's raining. It's cold. I don't like this. And he just came right back. And I just stood there waiting for him because I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was. And it was perfect because it did. <laughs> so I am happy about that. I'm happy because I didn't have to stand out there too long and he just came back. I also don't want him to like stay wet or be wet and he really didn't get that wet. He's a Pomeranian so he has like a lot of fur so it wasn't really like that big of a deal which is really really good like I don't you know I don't want it to be a big deal. I don't want it to be problematic. Okay here's backpack. Honestly I'm totally fine with the hero's backpack and I'm actually curious if the mirror orb actually gives the hero's backpack damage. I actually considered starting with the hero's backpack. Uh, we don't need that. I know you guys are going to say take it, but I really don't want to take it. So I'm just not going to. <laughs> I'm just not going to. There's nothing that I'm really looking for. So, oh yeah, it does. And again, like this really early on is nice to have the, uh, the hero's backpack. Because, uh, you know, just doing a bunch of damage is beautiful. Um... I don't really need to not do damage yet. So I'm not like not really worried. There you go. One's level three now. Perfect. Uh, we'll do echo chamber. Now that one's level three. Now we'll, now we'll want to be a lot more careful and maybe just chuck it down a lot more. Uh, let's go and upgrade. Beautiful. I could have just gotten rid of it to be completely honest. Alrighty, I'm still going for items. I don't know why. But I am. The more fights we do, the more health we'll get. Oh, I don't really want to increase my damage anymore, so I'm not going to take that. Not going to take that. There's going to be a lot of not taking stuff. Going to be a lot of not taking stuff. Okay, this is level two. We'll skip the level two. Go straight for level three here. Lots of level twos here. Uh, I'm just going to keep kind of chucking it off to the side. I mean, it seems like we're still going to be doing enough damage, so might as well just keep chucking it. And yeah, this is this is one of those instances where we're just going to be uh, going buck wild here. 
I love it. I love it. We'll see how much health we can get. Um, oh, I should have also started with all the with all the uh, health up relics. It's all good though. If I can get over 200 health, then I know that I can get like a bunch of health. So I'm not really that concerned. Not all that concerned. Okay, we're gonna reload here. Start dealing damage, constant damage. It's gonna be great. There we go. Upgrade, now they're all level three. So now it doesn't matter. Now it doesn't matter what we throw, how we throw it. And what's nice is there's a tree in the way. So even if we do a lot of damage, um, it's just not gonna be like actually that much damage. Nice. Didn't go for any it didn't go for any um didn't go for anything special. When I say special, I mean like like special in, in any capacity. Alrighty. And obviously we we do want the damage, because if we happen to get the wall then we would die if we didn't have damage. So that's why this is really important. It's because uh, we need the damage. We need damage for the wall. We don't want to end the run early. Because if we ended the run early, we would be in problems. We'd be, we'd be in a uh, struggle bus down. There you go. And of course, I don't want to stay here forever and ever. So that's why we're doing, doing this as we are as we are also if you guys haven't had some water gonna remind you again go and take some water guys none of this matters i'm not gonna take any of those because i really don't want to like increase my damage in any real way there's the wall the exact thing we're scared of i'll be honest i want to go for more fights um, I'll, still, I'll still go right for the fights, but you know what I'm saying. I want all those fights. I really don't want to refresh, but I feel like I might get one. And honestly, if I do, it's like not the end of the world, you know. Um, it's really not the end of the world. It's kind of like kind of unfortunate if I do. But I, I need holes so I can I can just chuck this down. Hopefully that's the, the case. There we go. Okay. There we go. None of it really matters. We can just kind of chuck it places and as long as it goes down, we're good to go. We're gonna get, yeah, we're gonna get tons of health, guys. We're gonna get mad amounts of health. No, refresh, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, the pain, the agony. Okay, cool. We've made some holes again. That's all that really matters. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine, guys. We're fine. Wait until it comes around. You know what? Uh, we can toss it there, yeah. Uh, we can toss it right in that hole. There you go. Yeah, this is working out pretty nicely. Um. Uh. Duh. I mean, I'm still gonna toss it. I don't really want to not toss it. And see, that was one of those stages where it didn't really matter. Like, me tossing it or not, it didn't really matter. I'm gonna go right just because I do see an elite fight over there. Elite fights have this potential of having a ton of enemies and making it really difficult. So, that's kind of why I'm like super keen on it. This is really nice. If I open up this middle hole here, I just don't get every single bomb of the map. Even like this side hole, I can probably squeeze it down. Yeah, I can just squeeze it right on through. So now I don't even have to throw any damage. I just keep tossing it and basically we're good to go. So anyways, yeah, you guys tell me, you guys tell me how your day is going, how, what's, uh, how life is. I'm curious about what you guys got, what you guys got going on. Hopefully, uh, school, if you're in school is going well. You know what? I'm going to go and kill one of these guys because, uh, Having two of these guys is actually hurting me. So I said I was gonna kill one of them. I, maybe I'm not gonna kill one of them. Um, yeah, might just not happen. Might just not happen. I lied. <laughs> there you go. Now we can heal up. I just don't wanna be like low HP, you know? Being low HP just kind of sucks. Now we're healing a little bit more than we're losing instead of losing more than we're healing. And now he'll die, so everything's fine. There we go. 
A little bit slow because well, that's just how it is. Another restore. We'll heal up. Not even matters. 192 HP already. No, he no health up relics. And uh, we're going crazy. Um, I'm going to fight them. Obviously. Now, this isn't a bad fight to just murder some of them. Because, again, healing wise, struggle bus. Uh, I just really want to leave one left alive. I'm going to keep on tossing it kind of like down the middle ish. Um, but I do, I will toss it off to the side a little bit every once in a while, just so that I can hopefully get one of them knocked out. And if I, as long as I keep one of them at dead and I'm only taking damage from one of them, then we're kind of okay -ish because damage wise, yeah, it should be okay. And even if we take a little bit of damage, like this is okay. I thought I took everything I needed to keep them blinded, but I guess not. When an enemy hits you with a melee attack, bl apply blind 10. I guess that doesn't count as a melee attack. I mean, I guess. Like, sure game. Okay, please knock out those middle pegs. Nope, okay. I might be able to just squeeze it right on here. Okay, yeah, we need not do damage now. Because we're still going to do damage. Yeah, we're still going to do a little bit of damage. For a minute there. There we go. Now we're good. 212 HP already. Lots of HP. And this totally works for me. Now, I do totally understand. We could go in crazy. So Catastrophe's idea was uh, basically have the max amount of relics. And uh, with the max amount of, uh, not relics, orbs. With the max amount of orbs as mirror orbs. And then you just have... Uh, you know a couple of whatever going on um that would be like the best idea because then you can just you know uh, super easily take down all the uh all the enemies now t don't get me wrong that's a that's a good idea i also just don't want to be sitting here for an hour um at least not right now i mean obviously down the road maybe but for now uh i just want to see kind of what a normalish run would hold Alrighty, I think we can probably leave this. I'm still gonna try to do a little bit of damage Just until the other guy gets here guys. I also was thinking I don't know if you guys would be interested in, in watching a little bit of um What's it called? Uh, the long dark Long dark's a really cool game. It's a survival game and like I said, it's really cool I really enjoy it. I don't know if you guys would be interested in something like that That's so unfortunate that that guy that that had to happen. Oh, oh that's so unfortunate. But anyways, yeah, I don't know if you guys would be interested in watching something like The Long Dark. Not even like a full playthrough. Um, I mean, I, I haven't actually done the story mode. I started playing The Long Dark when it was still in... Uh, what's it called? In Early Access. And they didn't have a story mode. They just had like a kind of janky survival mode. Also, we're doing enough... I'm pretty sure we're doing enough damage that it doesn't matter if I throw this or not. Oh, it did matter. It did matter, guys. I'm glad I now have a little way to skis out of damage because uh, now I can just stay max HP, basically. Wow, his shield is going up, though? Like, mad. I'm gonna take my hand off the keyboard and just press enter. There you go. Sorry, off the mouse and just press enter because uh yeah he's being scary also oh my gosh 305 shield so his shield goes up if you don't deal damage that's actually spooky can i kill this guy can i kill this guy this is this is actually really interesting what is going on what is going on oh am i gonna out damage him out damage his healing yeah we are we're slowly out damaging him look at that go there you go, his shield's going down, guys. It's slowly going down. This is wild. Whoa! The most reloads in like a single stage. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, we don't want damage, so we're just not gonna take those. <laughs> what was that? Oh my goodness, that was amazing. That's what that was. All right. <laughs> I'm sure, that's fine. Ask me anything's fine, but a lot of that stuff is not really worth it. All right, I don't really want to do damage, but I don't think there's an option here. 
um these guys won't do enough damage that it, that'll matter so if we can kind of just like clean out an area like a way down which i think we're not gonna be able to do without reloading uh we might be able to we'll find out here in a second let's see um ah okay that worked i made a mistake but it worked <laughs> nice okay that was only one guy here so as long as i time it right yeah i can i can basically cleanly cleanly go down each time even if i hurt myself i'm not hurting myself enough whoops oh don't refresh oh thank goodness it didn't refresh oh my gosh oh you know what i can actually just go straight down now right no i can't i still have to do this i was say i might still be doing enough too much damage no i'm good now i'm good i'm good i'm good we're good we're good guys 282 hp so far so good we're getting close to 300 no no stop stop no okay well we got him he's dead <laughs> we missed one orb throw one orb throw guys that's a mistake and a half all right we're gonna go down the uh, left here unless we do that there we go we're fine we're fine anyways yeah so leave a comment let me know if you'd like to see um the long dark and while you're there let me tell you uh, if you guys enjoy this kind of content consider subscribing helps me out and if it helps me out and you guys like it and uh whatnot then uh what's it called it helps you guys out too right helps you get the content you want to watch okay let's murderize one of these guys honestly like it really doesn't matter we're kind of out healing them so it's not like the end of the world if we don't take one down but I don't mind taking one down. I mean, just one. Also, guys, RimWorld. RimWorld. Oh, my gosh. RimWorld got a new DLC. And I want to play it so bad because the end game looks amazing. So, I might be doing a RimWorld playthrough. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm excited for it. Alrighty, We got it. 318 HP. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so here's the idea. I'm pretty sure if we get the demon wall down to about half HP, okay? I'm pretty sure if we get them down to about half HP, I'm definitely going to go down the middle. So it doesn't matter which direction I go here. I'll be at... Oh, you got to be joking me. That was hilarious. Okay, this game's trolling me now. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, if I can get the demon wall to about half HP, I'm pretty sure the damage of my actual orb won't matter as much anymore. Sure, I'll take the I'll take the eye. I'll take the eyeball. Gladly. Gladly take the eyeball. Ooh, this hand. Okay. Um, as long as I don't kill it in the first throw, I think we'll be alright. Actually, it's gonna be the it has to be the first couple of throws. Cause I don't think there's a way that I can really like sink it every time. Like consistently. Yeah, so yeah, it's just gonna have to be the first couple of throws. Oh, it's gonna be a uh, pain to the tushy. There we go. I think that's an actual clean, clean way down now. Now, something that does suck is this guy does do a lot of damage. And because he does a lot of damage, it may be problematic to leave him with too much health. I mean, as long as we get through our orbs quickly enough, we'll be fine if we don't get through our orbs quickly enough then we have a problem but um if we get through our orbs quickly enough then he won't deal damage and everything's fine also definitely our blinding isn't working very well it's kind of just like slow no it's not it's not even working yet it's not it's not even working because uh it says melee damage they're supposed to get 10 right is it is it 10 yeah 10 this supposed to get 10 blind every melee every melee hit and uh i guarantee some of those guys are doing melee well okay the the stones the the bricks jumping on us they should be getting blinded and they weren't so i don't know what to tell you guys but i feel as though that's a uh, problematic yeah and uh i still have the same Ooh, see he's right up in our face 
and uh, we're not through our orbs yet. We have enough health and we'll survive like three hits, but I don't particularly want to be hit so much. <laughs> this makes me nervous. Things like this make me really nervous. So not really the most keen thing in the world. Okay, last two orbs, last two orbs, guys, last two orbs. Let's see if we can get through it quickly enough. I'm sorry it's taking so long. You know, I can actually just toss this orb. Like, it doesn't matter what, what I do with it. The damage will actually help me because, uh, um, yeah, it's going to be us sitting here for a minute. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's just slapping the air, man. I'm doing some good parries here. <laughs> there we go. Let's go and heal up. Um, none of that really matters. This will work, though. Heal lost health. Deal three times the amount recovered. I'm totally down for that because uh, it doesn't actually deal that much damage. I mean, we don't really lose that much health. Out of curiosity, though, I wonder if I gain HP and heal that HP. I wonder if that actually does anything. Well, he took some damage. He took six six points of damage so if i heal two and that's times three yeah that actually so every time i he i get hp um they actually get hurt interesting very very interesting and yeah i'm not really worried about any of this it's really just like okay we're sinking it as much as best as possible here um yeah, this is uh, honestly, this is like one of the worst stages. It's really hard to just sink it every time. Because even if you, let's say you were to shoot it straight down now, right? Even if you were to time it like just right, you can still have that possibility of hitting one of these pegs or one of the ones at the bottom when it's going through. And it's like, yeah, you kind of just make a little bit of issues. Make a little bit of issues, you know? Which is totally fine. That's life. We move on. We get on. Get on with it. Get on with it, yeah. Oh, I just, I definitely just timed that wrong. That was just my brain being like, oh, it's time. It's time to throw an orb. <laughs> so uh, let's just not, let's just not talk about it, okay? Let's just not talk about it. Also, my friends, uh, my D&D &D friends, they were helping me. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate because now I don't have a, a clean way down. Uh, what's it called? My D&D &D friends were definitely helping me with how to uh, start a uh, start like making a campaign. So that helps fulfill my dreams of being a dungeon master. Basically, being a dungeon master is like is being like a narrator in a story, which is really awesome because I mean, being a narrator is cool, man. OK, I'm just going to try to make like a clean pathway down. Because I think if we make a clean pathway down, I think we'll be good. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. And again, if we deal damage, like we deal a decent amount of damage, that's actually beneficial to us because he has a ton of HP. And so if I don't actually deal a bunch of damage here, um, well, that could be really bad. I'm actually going to try to deal some damage here. I want to get like at least a thousand HP off of him, at least... So yeah, I actually might want to start going for the refreshes a little bit harder than I am. Let's see. I think we can sink it right in here. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Oh, nice. That was good. Crit too? Crit me? Oh, yeah. Okay, th this will be fine. Now I don't have to worry about the damage too much. I can just kind of eat it off. Eat it off the sides a little bit. Yeah, it's 2000. I don't know. He might still be too close. He might still be too close. I'm going to go for a little bit more. I'm going to go for a bit more damage. If I do too much, it's better than dying pre uh, early. And uh, yeah, just not being good. Also out of curiosity. Oh, see, now we're in a weird spot because now we actually don't want to deal damage. Oh, no. That's actually really bad. It's actually really bad. No. Yeah, that's really bad. It's really bad. I mean, you were probably to get through any damage. To be fair, there's only a couple orbs left. Yeah, we got them. Okay, that's fine. I went a little bit too zealous there. Like I said, it's better to do that than not, because at the end of the day, if you're, if you don't kill them, well, you got big problems. You got big problems. So, 
I'd much rather kill him than uh, not. There's lots of chests here, which is totally fine. Like, don't get me wrong. It's totally fine. Um, I don't really want all the chests, though. Okay, this map is mirrored, and I don't think there's a way that I don't actually win. Yeah, we, we got him. Yeah. I was pretty sure that was going to be the case. I was pretty sure. I mean, like, not 100%, but I was pretty sure. Oh, nice. Nice. I didn't have to keep yeeting it into infinity and beyond. Uh, refresher, sure. We're going to go for fights over anything else because fights will guarantee that we actually heal up. Um, and that's what we're looking for. Not really looking for much else. Ooh, 500 damage. That's, that's not what we're looking for. That ain't be what we're looking for. There we go. Okay. That looks like a clean pathway down, in my opinion. No, I forgot. Refresh if. What did I do? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, We might still. Yeah, we're doing too much damage now. I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, it didn't matter. Okay, well, this is part of the reason why we're going for fights. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Question mark it is. Question mark it is. That's totally fine, too. Copy. Copy the peglin. Grab the nearest orb. Another mirror orb. Let's go. The game was like, you don't have enough. You don't have enough mirror orbs. Have another. Okay. Okay, game. I I don't know what you're trying to tell me here. Maybe you're trying to tell me I have too much health and I just need to stop. Stop my shenanigans. I mean, I, I could totally see that, you know? I could I could see the game telling me that. It's like, hey, your, your, your shenanigans are going on too hard here. But anyways, guys, lo and behold, um, like I said, there's definitely going to be other games coming. And uh, that being said, I might dwindle down the uh, Peglin content again. So that's just my preemptive warning. But that being said, I mean, I'm not gonna like get rid of it. Like I said in the past, like I've done in the past, it's not going anywhere, but it might like bounce up and down a little bit. So sometimes it might, we might have a lot more of it and sometimes we might have a lot less of it. Now these guys are really spooky because these guys will give us a ton of damage if they hit us. Obviously there's not a problem here. Yeah, it's just what's gonna happen. Okay, I want to go for the fights. So right here. There we go. Sneak it through. Snake it on through. Yeah, the chests don't really matter. And these guys, I mean, I think only one guy can hit me at a time anyways. If I'm not mistaken. So I think I can just keep eating it off to the side. Like that. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, don't move my mouse. I'm just, just going to press enter. <laughs> I'm just going to press enter. Yeah, see, only one guy can hit us. So we're always going to be full HP. That's actually fantastic. That's actually amazing. I'm so super happy about that. Wait, how did he kill himself? Oh, no. That's fine. I'm just going to keep doing it. Same deal. <laughs> Same deal. We got it. We're good. I was worried for a second. I was like, oh, no, this is going to be bad. Oh, look, he's actually getting blind now. Maybe the stones just don't get blind, eh? I mean, I guess that's, I guess that's what it is. I have no idea. Okay, so now to be fair, to be fair, if I had 99 stone um, orbs, I mean, I would theoretically be insane on HP. I'd have way too much HP, actually. Not just theoretically, I would have way too much HP. Um, I don't think I can do that again. <laughs> yeah, I can't keep doing the same thing. Um, let's just kind of do this. Oh, yes. The black hole pulled us to the left just a little bit, just enough to make us not, not have to worry. Okay, I again don't know where to toss this. So we're just going to like toss it into the void and pretend that it's going to do what we want it to do. Unfortunately, we're going to kill things and it's just not going to be good, but that's okay. I mean, that's totally fine. It's totally fine. That's why I didn't take the uh, um, overwhammer. 
because I figured if I did something like this, right, where I have the hero's backpack and the overwhammer, I was actually thinking about having four orbs, I was, uh, four relics. I was thinking about having a uh, round guard, cheese, uh, hero's backpack, and overwhammer. But I was like, if I do that, I'm gonna have so much damage, it's gonna be ridiculous. So I persuaded myself against that, against that, and decided not to do that because, like I said, that's uh, that'd just be ridiculous amounts of damage. So that's why I did that. That's where all this came came from. Oh, oh, I didn't even remember not to take the refresh of in future runs because that uh, messes up our ability to throw. Our ability to throw, quite literally throw, not like metaphorically. If I can go down this right path, that would be amazing. Uh, so here, it doesn't matter which way I go. Left or right is fine. But this next one, it does. I got to go right here. If I go right, we're golden. Ah, uh, that's fine by me. And here's all the fights. Here come the fights. Let's see. Again, we're just going to kind of yeet it off to the side and see what happens. 666, I saw it. <laughs> I'm a troll, guys. I'm a troll. I don't know what to tell you. I'm too trolly. How did he take damage? Oh, I know how he took damage. Never mind. I got to stop asking myself that because I know exactly how, how it happens. Oh, that's actually amazing. I forgot that we could just shoot it in this black hole and we're fine. Um, not like it's gonna matter now, but yeah But in the future It's a possibility That is a possibility Alrighty, let's see what this fight is nice good fight I like this fight because even if I do really well on it uh, There's so many enemies and it can only kill one enemy at a time So even though I do really well on it. It's still gonna take me a while I'm going to try just going straight down every single time in hopes that I can just make a straight path through. I mean, you can't see on this stage, so it's not like you can be like, oh, let me just shoot it where there's no pegs. The only way to shoot it where there's no pegs is by magically hitting no pegs. It's more of a luck based thing than anything. So, you know, it is it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, don't hit the refresh. I mean the crit. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my goodness. At least, I mean, if we hit the crit, we'd have been doing a lot more damage. And I don't know who's in front of us. I don't know what's doing what, so... I'm crossing my fingers that it works out. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. We almost had 500 health, guys, and we didn't take any, uh... Any, uh health up relics now that, that's actually crazy you can get so much health oh my gosh it skimmed the crit like three times okay then okay then buddy nice it's actually really good too because if you notice the uh, refreshes are right next to each other and they're in a spot where they're away from everything so we can kind of, kind of get a cleaner path downwards. Oh my gosh, it almost just shot it up there. Why? My goodness, please. There you go. And last one. Bada bing, bada boom. And now, like clean. We're going to get 500 health, guys. We're going to get 500 health. I can almost guarantee that. Also, all this being said, um, what's it called? Let me uh, give you an update on my Japanese. What's it called? Oh, I can't actually can't take any of these really, because if I do, actually I could take this one. Short stack would work actually, because if I don't get a crit, I don't deal very much damage. Yeah, that actually works for me. Uh, what's it called? So update on the Japanese. What's it called? I am. Um, I know a little bit more. I know a couple more words. Ooh, nice. I know a couple more words. I kind of, uh, I kind of forget stuff though. Like, don't get me wrong. I totally forget stuff, um, quite a bit. Like, for example, I, there's some words that I know I, I've learned, but I can't remember now. But I do know how to say, like, 
television. You know, it's Teddy B. You know, I know how to say some of these, some of these things. And I'm very proud of myself. Honestly, I think, um, I'll tell you guys this. If you guys ever want to like make yourself more productive or more something or another, I highly recommend learning a new language because I genuinely think learning a new language kind of kickstarts your brain a little bit and it makes you like think more. And uh, also it's a really nice discipline thing. I think if you're, if you discipline yourself and you have, if you have a lot of discipline in your life, I think you'll be pretty good off. Also, we have 500 HP. Yeah, that's a good number. That's a good number. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, but yeah, I definitely, I definitely believe in having a disciplined life. I mean, that's the difference between, uh, oh, I'm just gonna skip that. That's the difference uh, between uh, professionals and like amateurs, especially like in the art world. So uh, if you guys don't know my, my profession, my degree, uh, what I got in college was uh, animation and visual effects. So I'm, I'm an artist. Um, and that being said, right, uh, one of the things I learned is the difference between an amateur, someone that isn't, isn't a hired professional and someone that is, is really just the, the amount of discipline you have, because basically everyone gets motivated to start something, but to finish something, you have to have the discipline to finish. Also, I think I can just like, I think I can just eat this off to the side. I think I'll get enough HP back. I think I'll be fine. Okay. I thought I was eating it off to the side, but I guess not. I mean, I definitely, I'll definitely be fine here. There's no way I'm not fine here, right? There you go. Yeah, I mean, I have so much HP. Taking two hits ain't gonna be a problem. Uh, this just gives me the most amount of possibility. Okay, let's just press enter. There you go. I'm definitely learning things. I'm definitely learning things here. Yeah, I'm actually like actively learning things. If I if I have the if I have the thing lined up properly, all I have to do is press enter. Wild, right? Who would have thought? Who would have thought that you learned something on a run like this? But yeah, so for my for my language, um, for my Japanese learning, there are things that I know that I've learned and uh, some things I don't understand still, if that makes any sense. Like, um, like, for example, I kind of don't understand uh, why like certain subject markers are the way they are. And I'll give you a good example of this. Um, there's like a subject marker of ga. And um, I can't remember what the other subject marker is, but I don't understand why you use certain ones in certain situations and not in other situations. It's like, why do I use this instead of that? <laughs> um, I'm sure it's I'm sure there's a very simple answer. Like, uh, like one thing that I learned is Gorewa uh, and Sorewa uh, and in that sort of vein of things, certain ones, certain Gorewas and Sorewas, they, uh, uh, what's it called? They indicate different things. So one of them indicates, for example, um, like an object. One of them indicates like a place and the last one indicates like a person. So, you know, depending on what you're referring to is depending on what you're doing. Okay, this is gonna be a really interesting fight because uh, they can get a lot of damage and this can be really scary. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to equally blind them. And if I can equally blind them, then I think I'll have the best chance of surviving. There you go. So I'm just gonna go through each of them. Each time one comes to the bottom, I'm just gonna go through it and try to hit it. So they all have like some amount of blind. That's the goal here. That's the goal here. 
And I mean, as long as I can survive until the very end, um, I, I mean, I'll, I'll win. Even against the other boss, I would win. The big thing is just surviving until that point of, okay, I've hit, I've hit them all enough that they are blind. Okay, we're just gonna start hitting the top row now because yeah. Let's see, let's see guys. Yep, 20. Nice. I know I could technically make one super blind or kill one of them or something, but I'm not that worried about it. All right, let's toss it in here. Maybe get two more bombs. There we go. Two more bombs makes a really big difference too. And now, bink. Alrighty, we're basically at the end of the rope here. Oh, I was hoping for one more bomb. One more. There we go. So they're all at 20%. So they'll have like a one in five chance of hitting us. Which is totally fine by me. They did a lot of damage though. Each of them eight. That's a lot of damage. If I didn't have this much health, I, I would be dead already. Like, you know, I'd be, I'd be dying. Like I said, good news is, good news is it doesn't matter because uh, yeah, we're fine. Oh, I totally missed one. I missed one, eh? There you go. Alrighty, we're good. Now it's GG. We can't take damage anymore. So, GG. Alrighty. Well, if you guys enjoy this kind of content, uh, consider leaving a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm know you like my content. It helps me out a bunch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on doing this every once in a while, trying to get a restore of a all the way up super high um yeah i'm really excited for that really excited for it i want there to be like a really good way to get your health all the way up so maybe what i'll try in the future is i'll do exactly what catastrophe says um and uh actually do like a bunch of orbs and basically just eat them wait are they healing for 160 are they healing for more? Oh my gosh. This is going to take a really long time, guys. This is actually going to take a really long time. They actually might get to the point where they one-shot me. That's actually going to be really funny. Imagine. Imagine to get to the point where they just one-shot me. I think I'm outpacing them, though. Yeah, I'm slowly outpacing them. I'm slowly outpacing them. That's wild though. That's really wild. <laughs> I didn't realize their health would continuously go up like that. Yes, so I think the cheese, it's uh, 20 times the amount of reloads. Yeah, so if I've reloaded 10 times, then it's, you know, 20 times 10. If I've reloaded 30 times, 20 times 30. So yeah, slowly outpacing them. And there we go, we finally got one of them taken down. There's the second one. Okay. So now they're not buffing or healing anymore. There we go. There's the W. Ended off with 568 HP. That's quite a bit, guys. That's quite a bit of HP. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody, and adios.